Next, we've got a uh, pretty cool article from Resident Advisor um, featuring uh, Sebastian Voigt, a booker from Else in Berlin. They're one of the only, they're one of the, they're one of a few open air clubs that are open now in Berlin. Um, of course, other places in Europe are, have got their nightclubs open and they're sort of raving up and doing, you know, doing whatever they can do. But most places are only allowing people to gather in place um, in open air spaces. But, you know, there's not a lot of places that have open air bars and, you know, there's a particular way that they work. Um, and it's hard to maybe maintain them, especially during these COVID times or to make them successful in any way, shape or form. But from the outside looking in, I found the else parties to look pretty cool in terms of how they handle it and how they basically enforce the rules and if you look at some of these videos that i found in this um, instagram page um there is a lot of indication that they really do go above and beyond to make sure that it's a good experience for everybody in there for the most part everyone's wearing a mask um, on the dance floor, they supposedly have rangers that patrol the dance floor in order to make sure people are complying with that. There's sanitizers all over the place and all this sort of good stuff. And in general, it feels like a really good vibe. And the benefit, I think, with having a kind of open air uh, club in Berlin and doing and kind of abiding by the COVID laws as strict as well as they are, is that you then invite some of the best ravers or you then you then you then provide a platform for some of the best ravers in the world to really come out and enjoy themselves, and there's no denying that, regardless if you want to get into Bergheim or not, there's no denying that Berlin does kind of have the best kind of scene in terms of people that actually go out to enjoy music, to dance, to rave. Especially if it's a this is a huge contrast to the videos that you'll see of people dancing at you know on the pages such as um, business techno pages, right? Of those DJs, like this is way way different. So I'm going to play the clip for you now. So if you're listening with headphones or anything, make sure you lower that volume before I play this. And it looks pretty fun to me. Everyone's packed in. But the fact that it's outdoors doesn't really matter because for the most part, most of the information out there concerning COVID says it spreads exponentially more so indoors as opposed to outdoors and if long as everyone's making around a mask and you know making sure they're doing all the right sensible things you should be fine this goes back to that um outbreak in south korea in this in the starbucks in south korea remember that story where supposedly a lady who was asymptomatic had covid was sitting in a starbucks in south korea and she was sitting right underneath a air conditioner but she had no idea of course she had no idea she had covid asymptomatic and she spread it into the, the entire Starbucks and everyone basically got it except for the four staff members that were working at Starbucks because they were wearing their masks the entire time I guess the other patrons were kept kept taking it on and off again whilst they're eating and drinking and shit or just probably forgetting to put it back on whilst they took it off after eating so as long as you've got a mask on I'd imagine um, it could be fairly safe um, especially if they're kind of enforcing the rules and abiding by the track and trace and all that sort of stuff that's another video and it looks so fun man absolute miss raving so much this is Ricardo Real Lobos playing look how fun that looks and another video too Ricardo wow and I guess to end it Sebastian Voigt, the booker for this club else, had a really good sit down with um, Resident Advisor where he essentially broke down exactly what they're doing in terms of making it work. And I'm going to read a little bit of it for you now here. Ba, 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 ba. So it says here, um, can you paint a picture for me of yesterday's party? Every time I've seen Ricardo Villalobos in Berlin, it's a bit of madness, totally packed. It's hard for me to picture a COVID era version of that. He said, sure. It's it, it, it's like any other party where limited is capacity now and everybody has to wear a mask at all times, at least while they're on the dance floor and while they're make, walking around. They can take them off when they're sitting. It's the same as in the restaurants here. When you're walking around, you wear the mask and at a table, you take it off, which is a pretty decent rule easy to abide by very clear instructions um you know it, it, we shouldn't be surprised in the germans right they're bloody efficient they get the job done so it says yeah for, for the longest time we were um, really hesitant to reopen others were already already doing it and we weren't sure if we should do it as well 
I personally had a lot of concerns about it, but we decided to give it a go and it went really well. For the first time onwards, I was um, pleasantly surprised that people are complying, wearing a mask and also dancing their asses off. Everybody needs it. The artists, the crowds, everybody is keen to go out and have a dance. If this is the, if that's the choice that you'd either wear a mask and you can go out or you can stay at home and watch DJs on the stream, then well, that's what it is. And by now, people are so used to wearing masks all the time that it's kind of okay, which is very true and something I've kind of been reconciling myself to in the beginning you know when everything was happening and you know we were, we were thinking that if you go outside and you coughed on somebody you might kill someone's grandma it, you know it, emotions were raw and you're like you know what people shouldn't be partying at all but then the more time you spend at home and the more time you're reading and kind of educating yourself on the issue and finding out that you know it probably isn't as bad as they're making it out or if it is as bad as they're making it out there are precautions that could be had in order to kind of restart the economy open things up in a really safe way it kind of makes you think that, hey, why don't they allow some places to open that have the possibility to be open there to kind of put some money in the, in the, in the till to support the staff members and kind of boost the local economy in some way, shape or form and give people a bit of respite, a little bit of enjoyment, something to kind of look forward to. Because if you're telling me I have to look forward to going to a park and playing music on my Bluetooth speaker or, you know, watching another DJ stream online and pretending that I'm in a club when I'm really not, I'm going to lose my mind. So providing that platform for people, or providing that escape for people is really cool, especially in a safe way. I really love it. it says here, um, normally we have a small indoor area, but that's closed. You said we are so we are totally, completely open air. Um, plus the mask make it pretty safe. As long as people are wearing a mask, there doesn't need to be distancing in place. People can dance like normal on the dance floor the same way they sit with each other on the S-band or stand next to each other on the supermarket. Exactly. And I wish that was more of a thing going forward um in this is the kind of and again said um so another question here to kind of relay it out it said aside from the mask and limited capacity what changes have you made to comply with the hygiene regulations you said there's a few we have this whole list of hygiene rules that we have in place you have to register when you get in scan this qr code on the door and fill out a form with your name address name contact details it sends you an email you have to show at the door to get in so you can't give fake name or fake email addresses that's fairly quick and easy when you get in obviously masks are required and hand sanitizers everywhere and we have a team of rangers on the awareness um team that will walk around and venue and constantly remind people to leave their mask on which is amazing right how how um how uh, how much peace of mind would that give you that'll give you all the peace of mind because i think as part of me i'd be like you know what i'd love to go but also be nervous but knowing how far they are with everything i'd be willing to kind of take my top off and have a little dance rather sooner than later it continues so it's still a learning curve this is our third weekend we when we started actually you published this re review and observed that while it worked pretty well later in the day people get more loose and more drunk and high maybe the mask are up up and not up all the time we realized that in the beginning we had two rangers now we have four constantly patrolling making sure people are complying and it works well i think that would work well in this in the uk because we have too many security guards on the dance floor anyway sometimes and they're really aggressive and they have bright yellow jackets on jeremy you know I and it's just a bit excessive so if you could kind of adapt their role to be the mask enforcers on the dance floor i think it worked pretty well uh, we continue to say, I said yesterday i was there as you say ricardo and his crew they were a perfect example of a loose and wild but it was fine there was always some people you have to remind again and again but 96 percent, 98 percent of the people are doing it really well and i think we had one or two weeks ago where we had the security because somebody would refuse to put a mask on he was wasted and got a bit weird but security had a long chat with him and then he agreed but then the other telling part of it as well it says here where is it next uh yeah where did it say is it next year where did it say where did it say the, uh yeah it come it makes a very good observe uh, kind of starting observation that got me a bit worried um yeah this is it indoor raving isn't coming back this year not before summer probably unless next month there's a surprise vaccine which of course is the chances are not high so probably this will be the only thing people can do maybe until next summer maybe there will be others like us i don't know what the other open airs are planning to do when winter comes i'm sure people will have no problem dancing in the cold that is really concerning because i think if you're looking forward to going to a club, that's essentially written off for you. I think we've kind of all come to that conclusion. But it's also maybe a good indication as to why a lot of these bigger festivals uh, postponed their events instead of cancelling them and kind of pushed them back to 2021 because, of course, 
you know, we know that, you know, COVID doesn't really um, spread that quickly in the sun or outdoors. So you could effectively put on a full scale festival performance, right? Show thing with no hassle, with no trouble, with no kind of limited seating, no limited ticketing at all um, next year and be completely fine, even if we didn't have a vaccine by then. Of course, you're giving yourself the most, you know, you're giving yourself a head start, a bit of time, a bit of buffer, but you could effectively get away with that really, really easily. Um, but again, uh, that's something to get, definitely keep in the back of your head in it, that raves are not going to, indoor raves in any way, like the ability to go to Berghain or to go to Grease Mueller, the new venue, or to go to Fold here in the UK, that won't be around for a while. Sub Club, you know, up in Scotland, wherever it may be. Um, yeah, that's the concerning part. But I recommend you check out the whole interview, man. It's a really, really cool one. Again, uh, check out as well this um, Instagram page. I think that's posting a few clips as well regarding some of the raves. It looks really, really fun. I actually want to go there, to be honest. It looks like a good time. Look at that. God damn it, man. I want to rave so badly. And see the difference of the crowd? Look how hard they're dancing. Look at them, look at them going for it. It's complete opposite of the of the Italian crowd you see, you know, going to watch your favorite business techno person playing. They're just letting loose, enjoying themselves, raving, masks on, doing the damn thing. Love it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to be back in Berlin. I really cannot. But hey, until then, we stay in London.